to show you uh, the Panasonic rig. We've got the Z Finder recoil on the Panasonic EVA. And we've got a new Z Finder for the Panasonic. It uh, connects here, wraps around the LCD for a secure hole, and has a flip up Z Finder magnification loop so that you can block out the light and magnify the screen a bit. It gives you, make, turns their LCD into a nice viewfinder. Um, it attaches with our Axis Mini. The Axis Mini is uh, an adjustable EVF mount. As you can see there, you've got three sets, three levers for adjustment. And you can also keep them just tight enough that you can do uh, an adjustment with one hand. From there, you've got the uh, the Z-Rail axis mount that's connected to a built-in Z-Rail on the EVA top plate. Uh, the EVA top plate has a lot of, um, pl plenty of holes for mounting accessories, plus a 15 millimeter rod port at the back for mounting like a Zamerican arm or any other 15 millimeter uh, accessory. Uh, down here we've got it on the VCT Pro. So the VCT Pro with the red sliding top plate can see that you can quickly slide it for adjustment if you're using multiple lenses. And the Z-Grip trigger, which can quickly flip up, get out of the way, flip back down, you're ready to go. And it's fully adjustable. You can adjust the length, you can adjust the, uh, the ball joint here onto the rosette relocator. Now, this rig is actually fairly similar to a rig that we're doing for the C200 as well. The only thing that we won't have for the C200 is a Z-Finder, uh, but we have a grip relocator for the C200. We've got a new top plate for the C200 with multiple mounting spots for their LCD. And um, then they use the same, the same uh, Z-Rail axis mount for the axis mini. The um, price point for the EVA or the EVA um, Z-Finder recoil is going to be about 2000 if you wanted to get the EVF recoil with just the Axis Mini and then you add your own EVF, you're looking at about 1300